hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking to this video uh, karibuni sana my name is betty kanza and i will be hosting for this video We are walking. Yeah. We are at the airport. I know, As right? You can see, guys. I don't know if you can see, but we will miss you, Kenya. <laughs> we will miss you, Kenya. Anyway, we are not going anywhere. We're just we're going work. vacation. Work. Vacation mood. Yeah. <laughs> we're just here for work, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's those hours that are just past curfew. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So we are just here for an interview. Yay! We are so excited. We did an interview with Milio Juzo. Yeah. We have Oh. And then Etana. Yeah. Ile ako. Yeah. Ile Milio Juzo sabi to ka Chucky. Oh. You were there also. Yeah. Hey, of course. Yeah, Miss Adze. Of course. Eh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you're so, still recording. I'm still recording because you talk a lot. International. Uh, this friend of mine talks a lot. But, I do, I yeah, do. Yeah, we're here for an interview. I'm, I'm doing maybe one. Uh, so watch out for the videos coming soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will be in this video, actually. Then you come back. In so this, this basically, this, yeah, it's like our intro. So guys, welcome back. Enjoy the video. And I'll see we you, love you later. We love you so much. Team Natella, Sisiki Apa Musab. Yes. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Team Natella. Who's our girl? I love you. We've done an interview. Oh, yes. We just did an interview. Yeah. Because I know, I know. I know I'm Tanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and watch. Okay, possibly in Tayaka Leo. And obviously, I share. Yeah. I share. Can you tell them what it's about? You can tell them. Okay, it's about uh, my experience in Saudi Arabia. Most you guys know the story. I've shared on my channel. Oh, so most of the people here. know, yeah. Okay. But what well, I do, you can go to her channel. I've given all the details, everything <laughs> from the day one. Uh -huh. So watch out for that video mm -hmm. on her channel. Okay. The Nutella Show. Uh -huh. And yeah. The Nutella Show. Show love. Show love. Yeah, yes. <laughs> For some subscriber, I'll make sure. Eh. Niko, niko sure niko na team Nutella here uh -huh. in the house. Yeah. Make Most sure I'm subscribed. Most of them went, team Betty Kanza. Yeah. Unangoja. Unangoja. Allah. Allah. Welcome. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. Exhausted, but I'm here. Uh, maybe to my first question, or my first question rather. Okay. You were here months ago. Yeah. Of course, we, we came to check out your, your album. Yeah. And it, it was one of the dopest albums I've had before. Thank so you. my question is, what are we expecting now since you're back? Five. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's all. Five. Five. Maybe you, maybe you just <laughs> give us something. You give us a touch of uh, a touch know, touch fire. I guess um, after 24 hours, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get home. Um, I'll do that tomorrow because we have a big conference meeting tomorrow. So I'm gonna explain the details tomorrow. Yeah, but yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. My name is John Maluki. Uh -huh. uh, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, I'd, I'd want to ask, are you planning to do maybe a collabo with artists, an artist from Kenya, same round, or, yeah. and, and can you mention any names? Um, I think for now I can't mention names, um, but tomorrow when we do this again properly, because we wanted the exclusive. <laughs> the exclusive. Yeah, let's 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 let's, oh. let's do it today. All right. So already. my big man. <laughs> oh my God! I don't even know where the people are. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. Might be working on something with. Uh, huh? Should I say this? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Where is Mr. Big Cat? <laughs> yeah, he, he's written, huh? he's, he's disappeared. Yeah. Um, and it's true within the country. Mm -hmm. so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, again, yeah. I will give proper details tomorrow. Yeah. And in Kenya, uh, there's been this issue that Kenyan's artists are complaining. Like, uh, there's some unfettered for Kenyan artists mm -hmm. uh, for their music to be played in the country's 25%. Mm -hmm. And being an artist based in the USA, mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel the music of Kenya is being played right there? Yeah, out there are we we're getting airplay? You no, know, out there we're underrepresented. Mm -hmm. In the States, we're underrepresented. But our music is dope, man. Our music is dope. Our music is, you know, the music is dope. So we, um, yeah, it would be nice to see more of our music also getting played outside. So yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, and do you yeah. think uh, there is something that uh, other artists are doing that Kenyan artists are, that Kenyan artists are not doing? Um, yeah, I guess maybe they have their tentacles spread out properly into the world, that's what I can say. Um, so like in the States or Europe or whatever, they, they've done a good job in terms of like PR and marketing. So these people are always on your face, you know, so West Africans have figured out a way to be on your face out there as well. So I think maybe that's it. It's not because our music is not dope or good, our music is awesome. but. If, if we get most, more raw music out there, or people making noise about our shit out there, then, yeah. Uh, being, being a Kenyan who is best in the US, yeah? I know you, you, you listen or you go to you know, clubs now and then. I wanted to know how many Kenyans, or rather how many Kenyans apart from Nyashinsky, uh, Saudi Soul, and these big names, how many can you mention by name that you heard the music of them? I've heard Blinky Bill's music playing. That was really dope. Or walking into a store and then hearing Blinky Bill's music playing. That was awesome. Um, Yushinsky, yeah, I have here and there, but not enough. So to so, yes, definitely. Uh, but not enough. But um, yeah, because we need, if our music gets exported out there as well, then I think it will be awesome. Because, yeah, we can compete at, at, at an international level as well. What do you think are we not doing uh -huh. for our music not to go to international levels? Um, what, do you, what do I think we're not doing? I, I, that's a really good question. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we're not doing right. But I guess we just need to figure out how to you know, clock the PR and marketing side of things uh, outside Kenya as well. Yeah. How long are you going to stay in the country? I'm going to be here for over a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to really, really work on projects and make sure we have stuff out there. Any, any big events are we expecting you, we expect you to be performing? Yes, again. <laughs> Tomorrow we have, we have NSG coming into the country, so... We'll see how that goes. Yeah, tomorrow. You've mentioned the Shinsuke Bill. So, do you have any favorites? Oh my gosh, I, yeah, I do have a lot of favorites. I love the Shinsuke Bill. Like, literally, grew up with them. So, the soul definitely they, At least they made enough noise to where people you know, know about German music out there as well. Yeah. Like the other day they were in London and I was there I have to see what they're doing and yeah, it's awesome. We just need a lot more of that. Yes. Um, have, you, have you had a chance to listen to the new sound that is Gangeton? And what do you think about Gangeton? I wish the momentum kept on going. Uh, but somehow I think I don't know if it was during COVID, things kinda of just went spiraled down. And I guess it's because maybe uh, Everywhere was closed, the, the club and everywhere uh, was shut down. So maybe, and you know, Gangeton works really well in a club setup. Like it's the music that gets you, you know, gets you on your feet. So yeah, I want to see Gangeton um, get the recognition that it deserves as well. Uh, from what I know, uh, apart from uh, music, you do you do film. Yes. Uh, what are some of the films that have been featured as, you know, maybe directors, 
yeah um so i've worked on uh, uh there's a movie uh, by nicholas cage and lawrence freshman uh lawrence freshman the black guy in uh, matrix uh so it's called running with the devil i was part of the camera department on that movie so yes i worked closely with the cinematographer dp cory guy Shout out to him. Um, yeah, it's an awesome movie. It's everywhere. It's a hit in the states and everywhere. And I was on. I was on to be part of that. Yeah. And uh, as I was checking some of your Instagram pictures, mm -hmm. I noticed you had a picture with Whiskey. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> is Whiskey the good friend of you? And uh, is there something that you're working on together? So, Whiskey is an awesome human being. First of all, um, I. Should have seen what he did in the O2 arena. That opened. I feel like that's opened the world to African music. So it's an amazing time to be an African artist. I'm not talking about being a Nigerian artist or a Kenyan artist or a Tanzanian artist. Yeah. It's an amazing time to be an African artist because that has opened the doors to like anyone doing music as long as your shit is dope. And as long as you figure out how to make noise about it, that's it. Because now the world is hungry for African music. Yeah. yeah. You saw how many people turned up. 20,000 people plus for three days straight. Just going to see this little kid from I don't know where, man. You know? So that was impressive. Uh, we, we asked about your, your thought about... Uh, 75%. Mm -hmm. But I want to know, are you part, like, are you supporting 75% of uh, play Kenyan music? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, why would we not play our stuff? Why would we not make our stuff for As long as we're playing other stuff, so like, so the good thing with Kenya is I feel like we're in Africa, we're that place that welcomes everyone from everywhere. So in terms of our music, in terms of you see the visitors, even right here, you can see this like it's diverse. There's a lot of people coming in and out, right? So Kenya is one of those destinations, African destinations where you have um, it's easier to maneuver as a foreigner. So yes, our music should be heard more um, alongside everything else. Yeah. So that's a very good idea. Thank you so much. And I feel welcome, feel at home. Of course. Uh, since yeah. you're around, people will get exclusives. Thank and uh, you. we'll enjoy together. This was amazing. Thank you for welcoming me point, back. Point yeah. lot, point lot for the, <laughs> your fans and anyone who's Um final words would be we're just starting out and uh, watch this space. Watch this space. We're here to also make a bit of noise about us out there as well <laughs> yeah so and we, we go out there and you know as a canyon artist so we can also fill up stadiums so yeah we're putting in the work and we're expecting results and thank you yeah. lastly enjoy your stay thank you mm -hmm. cheers <laughs>